kotu tu kahui o te ariki. Nā mai, haere mai, i runga i te karanga a te atua. Welcome to St Matthew in the City. My name is Kate Thorne. I am happy to be joining you today for Wednesday Midday Prayer. It's nice to be able to pause in the middle of our day and to gather ourselves. You're welcome here. Our season of Easter continues. The season of Easter with its language of hope and new life and light. It seems a little counterintuitive to speak this way as we're heading into autumn, but our tradition is set somewhat by the climes of the Northern Hemisphere who are heading now for spring. Our Sunday readings in Easter are telling us of the disciples' experience of Jesus' death, of them being gathered and of inbreaking presence in their midst. They tell of doubt and of disbelief and of peace being breathed upon them. So often in these moments of gathering, we use many words. It can be hard with all of those words to know that we have arrived, for us to settle and to be present, and to discern and receive, to inbreathe the grace of peace that has been breathed upon us. So I'd like to use less words today. I'd like to invite you to come, to be present, to step into your own sense of presence for a short time and to receive the peace being breathed upon you. Today is Earth Day. It is a day of gratitude for this planet that gives us life and sustains our life, the life as we know it. But let us slow down and notice it in the moment of this day. It is quieter in this lockdown time. Have you found you've noticed the birds more, or perhaps noticed more the burst of birdsong? That the silence is more of often broken by the laughter of a child, and more occasionally by the sound of traffic, or the rumble overhead of an aeroplane? As you quieten, if you can, look outside, and if you're able, perhaps even step outside. Though now sun warmed, perhaps there are remnant pockets of chilled morning air still fingering about. Or there's the drip of rain, or from rain just past, you see those fat-bellied raindrops precariously balanced, beating light. New grasses pushing green through soil that was so recently parched. Trees branch skywards, drift and fall of leaves from some of them, perhaps. Some of those leaves are dulled green-brown and yellowed fading as they fall, yet others in a last moment flourish they fall with startling brilliant brightness of red and orange. For a moment in this moment you are brought back to your senses. Breathe. Receive. The earth and all of creation breathes with you, for you are interlinked. Receive peace. Receive hope. Receive your life in this moment. Brought back to your senses, be remembered. In these lockdown times, we've been made to pause, step away from one another, from our daily pursuits, from our driven purposes and preoccupation with consuming. The earth, now given pause from our relentless pursuits, has chance to breathe. Beautifully, she is regenerating, renewing, flourishing. In awe, we are given chance to step back and to step away and to notice. Given pause to ponder our destructive audacity, to consider anew our place, our role in living with, finish with some words, the excerpts from a poem by Brother Richard, a priest in Ireland. They say that in Wuhan, after so many years of noise, you can hear the birds again. They say that after just a few weeks of quiet, the sky is no longer thick with fumes, but blue and grey and clear. They say that in the streets of Assisi, people are singing to each other across the empty squares keeping their windows open so that those who are alone may hear the sounds of family around them. 
All over the world, people are slowing down and reflecting. All over the world, people are looking at their neighbours a new way. All over the world, people are waking up to a new reality, to how big we really are, to how little control we really have, to what really matters, to love. Wake to the choices you make is how to live now. Today, breathe. Listen, behind the factory noises of your panic, the birds are singing again, the sky is clearing, and we are always encompassed by love. Open the windows of your soul, and though you may not be able to touch across the empty square, sing.